Welcome back guys to the very last video of this current block. Today, I'm doing the finisher of the week as usual, deadlift. Since I've been overloading my posterior chain more than usual, I've been feeling soreness in my hamstrings in the morning. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and I'm sort of enjoying the soreness in my inferior muscles. This block has been beyond my expectations, and I've been absorbing a lot of skills and techniques like a dry sponge throughout this program. A lot of technical training was done, and I am finally understanding the movements in my routine. Talking about my YouTube channel real quick, the last two videos that I uploaded seem to have and led a bunch of new viewers, and the comment section seems pretty active. So, if you are new to this channel, welcome aboard. I'm glad you guys are part of the crew now. I'm not trying to count my chickens before they hatch, but I might as well come back with a video where I thematize the questions you guys have been leaving on the comment section. But since the numbers of questions are acceptable, I will most probably answer them personally by directly commenting back. I really enjoy the communication between you guys. Sometimes I get inspired by your comments, so feel free to ask anything. And also, please let me know if you have suggestions regarding the videos. I will be super glad to know what your interests are. And this is me deadlifting 170 kilos again with the setup that I learned last week just to waken up my glutes and my hamstrings. I'm really curious how my deadlift will look like when I load some serious weights. But today I loaded 185 on the bar and yeah, this is my very first set. Just like my fingers are saying, second set of the day. A lot of people just don't believe me when I say I'm an introvert. To be honest, I don't feel comfortable speaking in front of a lot of people, so yeah. I like how things are at the moment. I do my training at the gym, so I don't need to think of talking about stuff, you know? And when I'm home, I do the audio work. I mean, it's quite fun. I just review my videos at home, so I could look at my technical aspects and I also enjoy watching my videos. Not in a weird way, of course, but yeah. It's kind of funny that it's true. You know, the more you know, the more you see. If you guys have been following my videos, you guys probably know by now that I have a coach since the start of January. But prior to that, I used to train alone and watch a lot of YouTube videos, did a lot of experiments myself to optimize my forms in terms of powerlifting. It's quite embarrassing that I was naive enough to say that I wouldn't be able to reach perfection in terms of form because I thought I have optimized my form already. But since day one, I realized that I was a frog in a well and I'm learning every single movement completely new, which is something cool because now I know that it's not only my strength, but also my technique that I need to get better at. Oh. Set number six, I kind of lost my grip and ran all the way to get chalk and my friends were pushing me to do the set. Okay, that's it. Not making the same mistake again, I used chalk before every single set. You know, sometimes when you have a lot of volume in your training, you just kind of forget that every single set, every single rep counts. So the idea behind this is to give everything to the sets and reps you do. Last set of the day, Steve was kind enough to film my set a bit dynamically, trying to make my videos interesting, you know? It might sound kind of psycho, but I really like 
the sound of metal plates clashing against each other. So if you guys are also enjoying the sound, just tell me in the comment section that I should use a bit of more raw audio from the gym itself. Moving on to my three count pause bench. I was really fatigued from the bench press the day prior, but since I have been understanding how to do the soft touch, I'm really loving every single session of bench press. I know it is a paradox, but to have a strong bench press, you actually need to have strong back muscles. It's kind of crazy how time flies. It has already been a month since the new year and my very first block with my new trainer is also over. Maybe it's a good sign that I've been consistent with the training because I haven't counted the days and time tends to fly when you are enjoying your life. Do you know this feeling when you are doing something you're passionate about or things that you love, time seems to just pass by without you noticing it? A lot of my friends ask me how I manage to hit the gym five times a week and at least two hours a day, which is a lot of time. And sometimes I do wish that a day was longer than 24 hours because I have a lot of things that I want to do in my life. But time passes by equal to every single one of us. So we just need to learn how to use our time wisely without wasting it. I'm not saying that we need to rush ourselves so that we can use the maximum amount of time given to us in a day. Believe me, I'm also a huge fan of doing nothing and just sitting on my couch or lying on my bed watching videos. But this is not something that is going to give me happiness in a permanent way, you know? It almost stresses me out to know that there are tons of things that I could do in my life and not using the time for that. Still, I'm trying to keep things simple. At least for the moment, I know the things that make me happy and the things that I want to focus on. And I'm not trying to overwhelm myself by putting in a ton of different activities into my weekly plan. I once had a very interesting conversation with a friend of mine that rich people that are not happy are just people who don't have a lot of hobbies. Life is such a mystery because a lot of people just give up their time to make a lot of money, but then realize that they can't buy time with money. There would be only one single reason for me to earn money, which is to do the things that I like in my life, which is traveling. So I never actually thought that I'm going to be unhappy when I have a lot of money. I don't know. Maybe I'll become greedy as well when I get rich. But for me, there is only one single reason to earn money, which is to spend it. To visit a lot of different countries, to learn a lot of new cultures, and to eat, of course. We are all born naked and will eventually go back and be part of Earth without a single coin in our pockets. What is the point of wealth when we just don't know how to use our money? I think money will make me happy because I know that I am allowing myself to do or experience a lot of new stuff in my life, not the money itself. But I think there are a lot of rich people. I'm not trying to say that rich people are dumb, but I've seen a lot of rich people that make money grow more money so they can be wealthier but I don't really see the point of doing this. A few days ago I read a quote from Imam Ali which kind of struck my head so I'm gonna read it out for you guys. How strange and foolish is man. He loses his health in gaining wealth. Then to regain health he wastes his wealth. He ruins his present while worrying about his future but weeps in the future by recalling his past. He lives as though death shall never come to him, but dies in a way, as if he were never born. Ending my story, I'm going to throw you guys a question that I've been thinking of. Would you guys rather enjoy life in your younger days, experiencing happiness in your youth, and therefore be rather unwealthy, being an old man, or sacrifice your youth, focusing on the must instead of the want, so that you can be successful? and have an affluent, rich life until you die. I'm leaving this as an open end so that I don't influence your answers, but I'm really curious what the others think about this. It's probably very controversial what one defines success in his life, but for me, the definition of a successful life is not to regret. One day, you might need to sacrifice a few things to stay on track. One day, you will have a chance of your lifetime whether or not you're ready to take the shot. 
One day, you will regret the fact that you hesitated to take the shot because you weren't ready for it. One day, you will be lying on your own bed, reminiscing about the old days when everything seemed possible. One day, you will come to a realization that you are too old to start something new and that your time is almost over. And one day, you will be gone forever. So before this day comes, I want me to be the person I can be proud of laying in that very own bed of mine so that I can rest in peace. As I said, time flies by. Life is too short to regret about the things that you've done in the past. The value of today is just as high as tomorrow. Tomorrow is just a today that comes after today. Let's just appreciate the fact that we are living the moment. After all, it is a present. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys. Peace.